Hi, on this lesson I will explain you what is a RAID level and how to implement it on the example of Windows. RAID, uh, there is a few and uh, several types levels, we will talk about RAID 0. Uh, for RAID 0 you have to have two physical hard drives. For example, we have two uh, hard drives, each one of one terabyte. And the RAID, it means then you, you uh, combine or you merge your drives. So you will see on the windows like drive D uh, not belong to one hard drive, uh, but it belongs to a uh, two hard drive. Like if I'm uh, merging these two hard drives, it will be one hard drive with two terabytes. So if you have some huge file uh, which need to be copied and you don't have enough space in one physical disk, you just can uh, merge two physical disks and you will have double space on one disk. Like drive D, uh, you will have two terabytes. Uh, then you copy your files. There's something interesting uh, happen. Then you copy the files to the drive, which is rate zero level. For example, we have three files. You see, one of them, my files number one, number two, and number three. Uh, the size 500 gigabytes, 800 gigabytes, 200. How it's copied physically into the drive? Then you copy the file to the drive D, which is your, uh, which is in implemented RAID zero. This is what's happening. Your files is divided to two parts. One part, like 50 percent of the uh, of the of your file copied to one physical disk and 50% of uh, this file copied to another one. The, uh, the same happened with the next file, you see, it's, it's just like one part of like 400 gigabytes of this file copied to this drive, 400 gigabytes copied to an, another drive. And now doesn't matter how many files, all of them copied uh, partially to one disk, partially to another disk. So uh, yeah, you see it's good. What is it good for? It's good if you have some rendering system. If you need uh, some um, fast drive to write data. So uh, right now, uh, as you see, the same file copied to two physical drives on the same time. So it's much faster than to copy the, this huge file to one physical drive because two two physical drives working at the same time. The same for the reading. Then you need to, for example, copy this huge file, eight eight hundred gigabytes. It's reading from two physical drives on the same time, so it's much much faster. Okay, but what it's uh, yeah also what it's not good for. So for example, um happened something terrible in one of your drives just failed you just that's all end of life of the drive that you need to just like go to the store and buy the new one what's happened with your data you have you had <laughs> three file on this what happened with this one <clears throat> you will not able to recover your data your data is lost even this drive is healthy and will work for you next 10 years the data uh, what was in this drive was is lost because there's only part of this uh, of these files only part and <laughs> not all <laughs> it cannot be recovered this is a like <clears throat> disadvantages of the rate uh, level zero uh, so uh, that's all and if you want to see how to implement it on the windows just uh, continue to see this lesson to demonstrate this, I will use a virtual box of Oracle. I have a Windows Server 2016 running on it, and I have three hard drive, like like physical virtual hard drive. One, it's a root hard drive with an operation system installed, and two new hard drives. You see, 10 gigabytes each one of them. So let's see how to implement a RAID zero on it. How to combine these two disks into one. So here we have Windows 2016 standard edition. You see, I ho only have disk C. So in, in the implementation of the RAID levels, uh, you can perform in disk management. There are several ways to open the disk manager. Uh, <coughs> by the way, you can open, uh, you can use disk manager in the Windows XP and up. So uh, the few ways: click start and type disk. MGMT.msc. See this manager. 
don't put your attention to this window just click cancel for for now here I've, I've, i'm sure you uh, sometimes seen it in disk manager you see this is my system disk uh, my first hard drive which is divided to two partition systems and disk c and two physical disk which is not a uh, not a an unallocated space and no not in utilized okay and another way to go to here in windows um, 8 and windows 8.1 and windows 10 right click on the start button here disk management same okay, okay. and the third part is just right click on my computer manage uh, tools computer management you just need to open the computer management in windows xp windows 7 for example windows 8 i think same Windows 10. Okay, yeah, see, I am I'm here. Computer management, all kind of options, and here disk management. Okay, I'm in disk manager. Okay, first uh, Windows uh, disk manager. See that I inserted the two physical new hard drive, and it need to be initialized in order to use it. So uh, you should select the <coughs> partition table if it's M MBR or GPT. So MBR always select MBR. Uh, if you're physical hard drives less than four terabyte if you using four terabyte and up bigger hard drive use always GPT okay I will use MR it will initialize this disk open it up. okay the disk is online and, and okay let's implement and right so just right uh, then you then you click on one of the three disks just right click on it and you see a few options here new simple volume is just to create the one disk just one one like here you see like we can create here d new spam volume it's can combine with spam it's not raid level it just combine few disk but in the then you write a data into the disk it will fill up the first disk and later it will fill up the second one so we, we we're talking about raid level. Raid level zero. It's stri striping. So here you see new striping volume. Select new striping volume. Next, it asks which disk you want to add to this uh, level. You see we have only one disk uh, free. Just edit, and it will combine both of them <coughs> into the one. It will be letter D, and let's type here raid zero, and perform quick format. Next, finish. Oh yeah, it always tell you uh, because you want to implement a RAID level, the type you see the type from the basic should be uh, converted to the dynamic. So we just click yes and it will do it for you. See disks right now dynamic, and right now seconds it will be <coughs> merged. Okay, you see I right now have disk drive D on my computer, the layout stripped. Which is what type dynamic, the 20 gigabytes, all free. See, and it's another color, just pink. If I close this one and go to my computer, you see I have red zero. I have a disk, just the volume you can change it. I don't, I don't know my games here. <laughs> my games, okay, see. So you can copy to here something, for example. I know I have a image file of Windows XP, just copy to here. That's all you have just like one disk uh, drive D which physically built from two hard drives. And one big if you have a few of them, or for example, yeah, as I saw you uh, <coughs> present you in the presentation, a uh, two uh, one terabyte disk will give you two terabyte huge disk. Okay. So, uh, finished copying, yeah, almost done. Okay, please, you see, we have file here. Okay, right now I will show you what's happened if one of the disks failed. In order to show you, I will shut down this Windows and just re will remove one of the hard drive and we'll start Windows and see what's happened. Okay, so stay tuned.
Okay, we back on our Windows 2016. Let's open. Uh, uh, first of all, let's go to my computer. See what's happening. Oh, you see, my drive D is not here. Okay, let's go to this manager. See what's happening. All right, here we go. See, it's failed. Disk missing. Like somebody just removed physically hard drive. And even if the second is online, it's still working, but it's <coughs> RAID level failed. There is nothing. You can recover the data. You just can recover the data. Your data is lost completely, and you no there is nothing you can do in order to recover it somehow. Because only partially, partially data was written on the uh, so that's all. This was a presentation how to implement it. Um, look, as I told you, uh, the, good, the advantages of the RAID is just the performance of read and write. And the disadvantages is that there's not a fault tolerance. If one of the disks failed, uh, yeah, your all data is gone. So use it for temporary work like rendering a really cool temporary file, which is not system critical, not critical for you to lose them rate them as you can. Uh, that's all and see you on the next lessons with another rate levels. Bye.